We are excited to be back tonight. We're going to sing a few songs. Hopefully, we'll bless you a little bit. We desire you pray for. Home is waiting just beyond the sea. Friends and loved ones wait for me. Tell 
tell you, Satan, you can't cross the bloodline because I'm covered by his blood. You may stare and you may fight, but you're going to lose this battle tonight. Just remember, you can't cross the bloodline. Sometimes our battles get hard, and it seems we're fighting a lot. Oh, I remember I'm standing on the rock. So, Satan, if I were you, I'd turn around and give up too, cause I do believe you're going to lose. I just got to tell you, Satan, you can't cross the bloodline, because I'm covered by His blood. You may stare and you may cry, but you're going to lose this battle tonight. Just remember, you can't cross the Yeah. 
Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm glad he found me, right, brother? I didn't even know I was lost until he showed me I was lost. And thank God he found me. Uh, they used to sing an old song years ago. It said he reached way below the bottom and picked me up. Amen. I'm glad that I am saved tonight and on my way to heaven. Devil don't like it, but he can't do nothing about it, you see, because I'm sealed by the blood of Christ. Amen. I'm glad I served the master of the sea, the master of the storm. Amen. He's the master of our lives today, and thank God for that. Amen. Listen to this old song, the master of the sea. One night upon the sea A ship was tossing to and fro Breakers dashed on every hand Angry winds around did blow All on board were filled with pride As the mighty billows then they called upon the one who the winds and seas obey. When he reaches down his hand, billows cease at his command. Winds and waves obey his will. When he says to them, be what man is this they all did say that the winds and seas obey he's the one who sails with me he's the master of the sea amen aren't you glad of that Listen to this right here. Though the storms of life may rage And the billows around you roll He can calm life's troubled sea As he did in days of old As upon life's sea you say Never fails. He's the one who sails with me. He's the master of the sea. When he reaches down his hand, billows cease at his command. Winds and waves obey his will. When he says to them, be still. What man is this they all did say that the winds and seas obey? He's the one who sailed with me. He's the master of the sea. I'm so glad he I read it in the book. He stepped out on the bow of the old ship and just stretched out his hands and said, Peace, be still. Amen. I'm glad we're serving a live God today. Amen. A lot of people's God is dead. But I serve a living God. Amen. Third and appointed day, he come up out of the ground, brother. He's not. He died, but he's not dead anymore. Amen. 
Amen. I'm glad of that today. What we think? Huh? Oh, yeah. This song right here, it touches me every time my wife sings this song. You know, a lot of times, uh, I've been saved since 1967. And a lot of times, brother, I've took the wrong road. A lot of times I've messed up and made a lot of mistakes. But the God that we serve, he said that if we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. Amen. Now, that doesn't give us the last license to sin. Uh, Paul said, should we sin because of grace abound? God forbid. Amen. But I'm glad of one thing. When we mess up, he don't throw us away. Amen. He just takes all those pieces and he puts them back together. Listen as my wife sings. He didn't throw the clay away. We won't sing this to Brother Cat.
She told me of the joy a good life could bring. But she said there's only one who can save your soul. And he'll shine the light in glory so you can find your way home and those landing lights are shining at home there stands Jesus he's waving Sweet victory for those landing lights are shining for me. I love this verse right here. It tells the story. If I should leave tomorrow, just promise, promise me this. Among those who'll be going, that your name is on the list. For I want my friends and loved ones <laughs> to all go along. So I pray to the captain to turn your light on. And those landing lights are shining at home. For those landing lights are shining for me. And when I sit down, I'll sing the song, Sweet Victory, for those landing lights are shining. It's getting close to Easter. Uh, this song came to my mind. They'll probably kill me because they, they tell me all the time that I don't get up there and change songs. But I, you see, I like to follow the Spirit, you see. And when the Spirit leads another way, that's the way that I want to go. This old song is a couple years old. And uh, <coughs> first time I heard it, I about had me one more spell. Because I'm telling you, if your God is dead, then you need to try mine. Amen. He's alive. He's well. Easter coming up, we celebrate the the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. This song right here puts it all, all in proper perspective. Hope it's a blessing to you. Play that piano loud where I can hear you. Once I 
quit walking down a long, lonesome road. And I thought <laughs> that I had no one who would share my heavy load. Then my mind went soaring back to a place I've never been. And I realized I was standing at the foot There were three lonely crosses on a hillside that day. And as I looked at my Savior, I cried, Lord, take me away. There was blood flowing down as the thorn. cried, Father, forgive that my Savior was dead. Well, I stood there in silence, thinking, Lord, how could this be? Who enjoyed the messengers? All the way from Knoxville, Tennessee. So let's make welcome the one and only the Weedsburg Gospel House Band.
maybe somebody else is too. Uh, I'm not sure. Huh? What? How y'all doing? It? Over here on my far right, Ed Mullins on the banjo. Gene Sharp on the bass. Bud Cotton Gim on lead guitar. Bill Creech on guitar. My name's Eugene Matt. really like them messengers if we could if we could get them to come maybe a dozen more times this year I'd be tickled to death <laughs> the gospel barn welcomes you Close to the Tennessee border on North I 75. Had eggs in 11, look for the big tall red barn sign. More than a place to sing, it's mission is spirit led. So some seed ate Saturday night, so hungry and lost our fed. The gospel barn welcomes you. Well. A great MC will bring on stage the singer the veterans to Pledge allegiance to the flag has patriotic charm And everybody's blessed by the Wilbur Gospel Barn Play some boys Singing groups from everywhere have signed up to come and sing. Local singers are faithful to come share what they bring. Loving one another assures no one feels alone. And the Spirit of God beckons lost sinners to come back home. The Gospel Barn welcomes you. A great MC will bring on stage the singers and veterans too. Pledge allegiance to the flag as a patriotic charm. And everybody's blessed by the Wilbur Gospel Bomb. Place I'm at. Singing, shouting, praising, on your feet, arms waving to Jesus Christ is coming here. Hugging, loving, dancing, and the Spirit is cheer. The gospel bond welcomes you. Welcomes you. A great MC will bring on stage singers and veterans too. Everybody's blessed at the Wilbur Gospel Bar. Yeah, everybody's blessed at the Wilbur Gospel Bar. Yeah, we're gonna try this. We ain't sing in a little while. Got some allergies. I hope I can get this. Oh, my 
brother. Can't you hear me say? Oh, my brother, you better get down on your knees and pray. Get down. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down, down on, on your, your knees and pray. Get down. You better get, get down, down on your knees and pray. Oh, my mother. Can't you hear me say? Better get down on your knees and pray. Get down. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down, down on your knees and pray. Get down. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down. Can't you hear me say, oh, my sister, you better get down on your knees and pray. Get down. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down, down on your knees and pray. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down, down on your knees and pray. Oh, sinner man. Can't you hear me say? Better get down on your knees and pray. Get down. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down, down on your knees and pray. pray. Get down. Get down. Get down. You better get, get down. Requested, I got several requests for me to tell you a story. Three little boys in the class, and the teacher told them Billy, Bobby, and Johnny, and the teacher told them so that I want you to give me, make me a story and with a moral to the end of it, some type of moral. So Bobby said, "Okay." He said, "My dad's a chicken farmer," and said last Saturday he had a whole basket full of eggs, and he was on the way to the market. And he had to slam his brakes on. The whole basket slid off the seat, down the floor, and broke every one of them. And she said, the moral of the story is, she said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So the, uh, Bobby said, well, my, my dad's also a chicken farmer. We live next to Billy. Said, uh, we had, the, me and my sister had three eggs lined up and under a heat lamp and waiting on the hatch. And we was trying to figure out how we was going to divide three chickens between two people and and uh, so it kind of solved itself, said only one of them hatched. And, and so the teacher said, and the moral of that story is, don't count your chickens for they're hatched. <laughs> okay? Then Johnny, he said, uh, my aunt, she was a pilot in the war, and right over the middle of the enemy, she got her plane got shot down. The only thing she had a chance to grab was her 
course, she had a parachute on with her gun, some shells, and a machete. And she hit the ground with that gun of fire and that machete of going, and after a while, there wasn't nobody left but her. And she said, that teacher said, what an amazing story. Uh, what's the moral of the story? He said, you don't mess with my Aunt Karen when she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> Sound all right, everybody? For a bunch of old geezers. <laughs>
playing all across the country around a while say this do him good whatever that means <laughs> but here it is close calls driving down the road one Sunday morning on my way to church singing a song a big deer jumped out into the highway doctors said it would die but they were wrong Close calls, close calls, close calls. Close call. We're given second chances, but have we used them all? Death is a shoot, the handwriting is on the wall. Are you ready to meet Jesus when there's no more close calls? Go ahead, boy. Preaching Jesus Christ, him crucified. The old preacher stood with Bible raised. Satan said, my lost soul belonged to him. But I ran to the altar and was saved. Close call, close call, close, close, call. close call. We're given second chances, but have we used them all? Death is a shoot, the handwriting is on the wall. Are you ready to meet Jesus when there's more, more close call? One more time, fellas. Facing death When you ask Jesus to save your soul Stand up and testify Of his goodness How he touched your body And made you whole Close calls Close calls Close calls We're given second chances But have we used them 
Some folks steal, they cheat and lie for gold and wine. It would buy. Don't they know on the judgment day, gold and silver? will melt away I'd rather be in a deep dark grave and know that my poor soul was saved than to live in this world Come on. 
All right. Help me enjoy the house band. How about uh, the messengers? Help me enjoy the messengers. Amen. Praise the Lord. We certainly do appreciate everybody here tonight. Amen. Do we have anybody here for your first time? Anybody here for your first time? Praise the Lord. Well, welcome to the Williamsburg Gospel Barn. We're not a church. We don't preach, and we don't give altar calls. But if God's dealing with your heart, and you feel like praying, well, we can kneel right down beside you and pray right with you. We have done it a many times, praise the Lord, and we'll keep doing that, praise the Lord. But uh, we love God today and appreciate God. We do have some announcements to make tonight. And uh, first, I'll get this uh, announcements here. Uh, next weekend... March the 30th, we will have Justified from Lancaster, Ohio. Uh, they'll be here. And also Straight Creek from Williamsburg, Kentucky. That's uh, Terrell Medley, the banker, and all them. And a lot of people's asked, when are they going to come and sing? That, that'll be next weekend. Straight Creek will be here. Then on April the 6th is the Old Time Gospel Gathering and Potluck Dinner. And uh, David Hager will be running that for us uh, this time. Praise the Lord, and uh, we're going to have a good time on that. And uh, each week we're going to have different uh, singings, and praise the Lord, and just have a good time. All right, uh, now we want to invite to the stage. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think I will pray so I don't end up getting busy with all these announcements and forget. So can we all stand at this time and bow our head before the Lord? Amen. Let's just bow our head in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, as we approach your throne, we thank you, God, for all your love and mercy and kindness that you show to us. We know we're undeserving, we're not worthy, but yet your grace and mercy reaches down to us to help us, God. Lord, if there be anybody here going through anxiety or depression, God, facing surgery or something in their life that's too big for them, we pray for them. We pray for those, Lord, that's listening to us tonight, God, by the means of Facebook and YouTube. We thank the Lord for all those radio stations and TV stations and everybody, Lord, that's connected to us tonight, God. We thank you, God, for all those that's connected, God. We ask you, Lord, to bless these singers, God. Bless Mike Upright as he comes here in a little while to sing. Uh, bless all these veterans, God. Bless everybody that's here in Jesus' holy name, we pray. And everybody said... Amen. Can we give the Lord a hand clap of praise? Amen. All right, we want to invite our first guest up here to speak. Uh, come on, Donna, you and Barry, come and tell us what you got going on. Praise the Lord. It's almost time for sing-a-thon. Yes, it is almost time for our sing-a-thon this year. And if anyone wants to sign up... We're going to get the information together tonight. So after tonight, I'll have everything you'll need to know. And if any of you want to call me and ask about it, my number is 606-130-1682. And I would be happy even over the phone to, let, to give you the information. Uh, Brother Troy is going to get it all together for me tonight. So after tonight, I'll have anything you want to know. And our singathon is going to be in June again this year, the 22nd of June. So we got to get busy on it and get some people signed up. So if y'all are here and and know, you know what I'm talking about and maybe decide you want to do it this year, I could sign you up tonight. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. I just got the to get the information together to let you all know. But if you've been here like last year to the Singathon, then you know what I'm talking about. But we are going to get the information together, and I can tell you a little bit about it now. Um, if the winner of the Singathon is the one that has the most points. This is the biggest fundraiser that we do for the Gospel Barn. And you get your points by getting donations. Every dollar that you get out and collect is a point. You just take your papers to your family, your friends, and tell them that you're working um, for yourself and the Gospel Barn. 
Because as a winner, the one that brings in the most money for the gospel barn, you will receive a, a 10 song CD with master recording, uh, the studio engineer time, the studio recording time, five studio instruments will be there, CD mixing, CD mastering, CD graphics, and you will get a hundred full color CDs that you can do whatever you want to do with. Uh, the winner will be promoted at the Wimsburg Gospel Barn. We will, you will be, you will be right here on stage. You will sing, but you don't win. They're, all of them are winners. They all are just working for the Gospel Barn to bring in money for the Gospel Barn. But you will all, also, you'll have one of your songs will be chosen as a national single release to the radio. And you'll get a banner ad in Christian Voice magazine, a banner ad in Cashbox magazine, one banner ad at the Cross Country magazine, and that is national magazines. Um, and the 2024 Songathon winner will open up on December the 30th for the singing cooks right here at the Gospel Barn. And so not much has changed. This is the way that we do the singathon, but it is one of the biggest fundraisers for the Gospel Barn. And now I will tell you about the quilt. This is going to be the last weekend that you can do a donation on the quilt. We're just asking for a donation. You can do get a ticket for two dollars, you can get three for five, but it's all donations for the gospel barn. And the winner of this will be announced next weekend. Tonight will be your last chance, so you might want to think about that. It's a coal miner's quilt. Uh, one of my good friends that I worked with at the shirt factory many years ago made this. She, her name was Pat Banover. Uh, she done a lot of sewing for me. I had it in my closet, and I thought, knowing Pat, she would have liked for me to use this quilt for something. So I thought, well, what a better thing. Just get it out and use it for right here at the Gospel Barn. So I have appreciated. Miss Betty has just worked herself to death on it. So I'm going to let her draw for it next weekend. And uh, Miss Betty, where you at? Oh. <laughs> anyway, she's she has really worked on this, and, and I thank her so much. She has wore herself out with this. So she is going to get a draw, a winner on this next week. So um, God bless you all. If you um, uh, think about the singing thing now, let me know. I can, uh, I can sign you up tonight. It's still $35 to sign up. $35 will get you started. And I could sign any, any of you up tonight. We could take off tonight with it. And we're definitely every week going to work on this because uh, June will be here before we all know it. But thank you all very much, and, and God bless you. Yes, um, also, um, Brother Bill Creech was our winner last year, and he has a song that hit the radios that's going all across the nation. How's your song doing, Bill? He says it's doing good. We um, also, if, last week I had mine on. You may see Brother Nathan here. He's got a red shirt on. If, a, if you all have any questions or anything whatsoever, look for someone with a red shirt. It's got on them what, uh, what each one of us does. Also, we have uh, coffee cups in the back. This is all for donations for in to help us on our insurances and things like that here at the barn. Everything here stays at the barn. We have cups. We have tissue boxes, um, just different things, plaques to go on the front of your plates to go on the front of your cars and everything back there. If you folks uh, feel like helping us out, it's all donations, and it all stays here at the barn. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. All right. Now, we don't usually do these all these announcements, but tonight we, it's needful to do it. Let's make welcome our next uh, one. Is, where are you at, David? Uh, amen. David and Crystal Newsom. Come on, David. 
David is now the new director of the Williamsburg Gospel Barn Food Pantry Giveaway. Let's give him a great big hand. Thank you, Brother Troy. Tonight, we're going to start off um, what we're starting out, what we're doing. Through our uh, Williamsburg Gospel Pantry, we are starting hanging out um, paper towels, toilet paper, and granola bars that we got this week. And as time goes on, we'll be getting more stuff and hang, hang out more. And hopefully our goal is to surpass what we've done in the past in 2020. Yeah, $223,000 back in 2021 before COVID kicked in. So before COVID kicked in. So my wife and I, through our new, new beginning ministry, is going to donate a, a building for the Williamsburg Gospel Barn Food Pantry. Right now, we're working on getting a concrete pad put up. It has to be done before the building's put in place. So, within the next couple of weeks, we'll get the um, site surveyed and uh, getting set up for a um, concrete pad as soon as possible. And so, after that, we'll have a building delivered here if, if God's will. We want to thank Brother Troy for everything that he's done for Williamsburg. Why uh -huh. don't you give him a big round of applause? We greatly appreciate that. Your new Gospel Barn Food Pantry director. Uh, di director. So praise the Lord. So uh, he's doing a good job tonight. If anybody's got anything picked, if picked up anything tonight, uh, the they, this has went really smooth about giving out stuff. So before you leave here, we try not to do it during the singing because it's kind of uh, rude to do it during while groups are singing. But as soon as it's over with, we'll start back up again and uh, give it out again. All right, at this time, without any further ado, we want to invite our veterans to come up and, and our MC. So if the vet veterans make their way on up here, praise the Lord, we want to invite our MC to come. Everybody give our MC, Eugene Madden, a great big hand. All right, every veteran that will come to the stage. Always respect our veterans there at the barn and our flag. Yeah, anybody that will. It's been a veteran. Come on up. All right. That's appreciate you. Uh, anybody else? We got some new guys tonight. They come. Turn this over. To, huh? Got some more coming. All right. Let's wait a minute. We got another one two coming. Up. You sure? Oh, okay. He's talking to Troy. Turn this over to Brother Ansel. Would everybody stand? Give all the veterans a hand. And face the flag and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Everybody having a good time tonight? All right. We, this guy needs, you hear some of these guys, this guy's songs, he needs no introduction because he does a great job. Make welcome from North Carolina, Mike Upright. Give the Lord a bigger hand than that. Y'all hear me in the back? From the dust of the earth, my God created man. His breath made man a living soul. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And that is why 
I love him so My hands were made to help my neighbor My eyes were made to read God's word My feet were made to walk in His footsteps My body is the temple of the Lord For I was made in His likeness Created in His image For I was born to serve the Lord And I can't deny Him I'll always walk beside Him For I was born to serve the Lord How many knows the Lord's got something for you to do tonight? Amen. I was made in His likeness Created in His image For I was born to serve the Lord And I can't deny Him I'll always walk beside Him For I was born to serve the Lord Yes, I was born to serve the Lord Amen Praise the Lord How many of you knows that Brother Paul in the Bible wrote 14 books of the Bible Did y'all know that? You remember when he said faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God but he penned that he was busy writing the biggest part of the New Testament. He was talking about the Old Testament. Yet, there's a lot of folks that want to throw the Old Testament out and say it's altogether irrelevant. And some parts of it are, are not like uh, in, in for us today. Such we don't go out and go out and kill lambs anymore, do we? Jesus was the final lamb. But that don't mean the Old Testament's not good for us. I love an old story. It's not a story. It's a true story of how old Abraham one day was told by the Lord. He said, I want you to take your, your son, your only son Isaac, and I want you to take him up on the mountain, and I want you to sacrifice him for me. And the Bible says as Abraham commenced to go up that mountain, he looked back at his servants. He said, I and the lad will be back. And they went walking up that mountain. And I kind of picture him maybe holding hands. I don't know. But directly Isaac said, Father, I see the wood and I see the fire. What about the sacrifice? And here's what Abraham said. And I caught this one day. And I don't know everything, but I think I know a little bit. I believe Abraham was given one of the first prophecies about the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, the Lord will provide himself a lamb. Now, he did provide for himself a lamb that day, the ram and the thicket we've all read about. But that ain't what he said. He didn't say God will provide for himself a lamb. He said God will provide himself a lamb. Hundreds, maybe a thousand years later, he did that very thing. Jesus, God in flesh, came, lived 30-some years, some say, Never one time sin. Why? Because he was going to be the final lamb. God provided himself a lamb. Praise his holy name. Worship the Lord with me tonight. I know there's a lot of commotion and people chewing on dumplings and everything else. But I told a little eight-year-old girl at a high school one time, I said, you play like this is your home church. And she got saved. Who knows but that somebody might get saved tonight if we'll pretend this is church. Bless his holy name and worship him. Abraham went walking, he and Isaac hand in hand. You could have cut the silence with his knife in hand. 
Little Isaac did inquire There's wood and then there's fire With darting eyes he asked As only children can The answer God will provide Himself a land Go search high and low Come back and let me know If you can find one single spotless man God loved us so much Yet he hated sin so bad So holy love devised for us a plan God has provided himself a land Thank you Lord God has provided himself a land had mercy on the helpless state of fallen man And I, a guilty sinner, soon at the judgment bar to stand Had God not provided himself a land Listen to this He said, no, I come in the volume of the book They wrote about the mystery Satan never understood One final spot the slam The Holy Son of Man God provided Himself Yes He did God has provided Himself a land. Where would you and I be had He not provided Himself, Himself, His very own self, a lamb? Praise the Lord. Amen. I sure thank you for grinning at me tonight and raising your hands and worshiping the Lord. Let's have church. Takes a lot of breath on this song, and I'm getting old, so pray for me, okay? There are giants in this world that are too big for me, and Satan's army cheers in one accord. What I bring to the battles like a slingshot in my hand, my trembling fingers fumbling for a small handful of stones And up ahead these mortal eyes see sights that terrify the mind Till I remind myself how God has killed my beast of every kind With God's people looking on I have a duty that is mine What will I do? I guess I'll just have to lean upon the Lord that's what I'll do. Satan laughs and man his spear is like a weaver's beam. I've never fought a fight like this before. He's head and shoulders higher than our army's biggest man. I don't possess the strength I see in his great giant hands. Yet it falls on me to stand. While others cower down below But I believe I feel the touch That comes down from another world I shudder at the thought of shame That comes from backing down What will I do? I guess I'll just have to lean upon the Lord There's a cause I'm standing for and the death should come, I'll go out bringing glory to the Lord. But if by grace I find I'm standing with His bloody head and hand. And somewhere down the road I face a giant yet again. He'll need to be much bigger 
I'll be a better man. What will I do? What will I do? I guess I'll just have to lean upon the Lord. Gotta work every time. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. Appreciate my buddy Jim Muntz. He's sitting here on the front row, my amen front row. Appreciate that gentleman back there and his sweet wife in the red dress and grinning at me. The rest of you jump in here and grin. There you go. I put my boat upon the ocean and drifted all along, convinced that I could do anything on my own. And Leah, good to have her tonight. Till a mighty tempest came And showed me something more And my broken vessel lay Upon the rocky shore But I thank God for the waves That pushed me to the rock I know it was the storm that brought me to this spot Although I didn't like it When the howling winds blew hot I thank God for the waves That pushed me to the rock If you want to get close to the Lord as you can Somebody say amen Thank you Lord For the storms that pushed me to the rock Don't think it to be strange, friends, when sufferings come along. It happened to our Lord. It'll happen to His own. But He holds the waters in the hollow of His hand. And He watches o'er His children. Till they reach the promised land So I thank God for the waves That pushed me to the rock I know it was the storm That brought me to this spot Although I didn't like it when the howling winds blew hot I thank God for the waves That pushed me to the rock I thank God for the waves That pushed me to the rock Who knows who the rock is? His name's Jesus, amen. Thank you, Leah. That's much better than crossing your eyes at me while I'm trying to warm up. <laughs> Leah acts like she don't like me, but I think she does. Up here on the second row eating stuff in front of me. I thank God for little children that will come to a gospel singing and grin at it while they're doing it. Don't you? Amen. Did your daddy have to whoop you to get you to come? Did he even have to whoop her? He could have made up an excuse so he'd catch up on the ones she missed that she needed, couldn't he? <laughs> Amen. Well, you know, I'll be 60 years old, Leah, next month. Can you believe that? I don't look a day over 59 and a half, do I? I looked up on Google here a while back, and I typed this. I said, what is the average lifespan for a man in the United States. And guess what it said? 78 years old. So do the math. 60, 70. Jim Muncy's beat the odds. He's 83. 60, 70 plus 8 is eight, uh, 18 years is all I've got to get close to the Lord. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes, it does. It also says tribulation worketh patience. And patience, experience, 
Experience what? That if you'll be patient, God will come through. Tribulation worketh experience. You experience God answering your prayers. You wouldn't if you didn't have tribulation. Tribulation worketh experience. Work with patience, patience, experience, and experience hope. Hope for what? Well, he helped me through those. I experienced how he helped me through those. I'll hang on and hope till he helps me through this one. But I was in a little trailer I was trying to pay for some years ago, going through what I thought was a trial. And I was sitting there begging the Lord to get me out of that trial. You ever done that? And you know what he said to me? And this was before I knew tribulation, work of patience, and patience, experience, and experience, hope. And hope maketh not ashamed. He said, sit there a while. Then after I thought about it, hey, this trial come along for a reason. God's trying to get me closer to him or maybe work something in me that couldn't be worked apart from a trial. God gave me a song. And some people think I'm crazy for even thinking this, but guess what the name of the song is? I could almost pray for a trial. Y'all sure are attentive, a little quiet, but attentive. I like it. They, they. It ain't always in the whirlwind, though, is it? No. That's all right. Sit there and listen. Listen to the words of this song. It all started way back with Adam This old flesh and God is in a fight Sometimes I'm like Cain and if I'm able It's all in the power of God's might There's something that I have discovered We all need to pause in our life My own thoughts and goals cause me trouble When I want a close walk with Christ and I so want my head on Christ's bosom Somehow from this world turn aside His presence is so sweet But it's stronger when I'm weak I could all most pray for a trial. Blessed are the weak, those who finally reach the end of themselves. They find that strength comes from Him. Say, Amen. So bring on the storm clouds and trouble. Take me to the schoolhouse of strife Cause I've seen the Lord ride on storm clouds And He's brought such change in my life And I so want my head on Christ's bosom Somehow from this world Turn aside His presence is so sweet He draws near when I'm weak I could almost pray for a trial I could almost pray for a trial 
Amen. Good old wet water. Thank you, Leah. Leah's my buddy. Amen. Oh, you need to stop, man. You didn't tell me you was doing that. Huh? Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you've been so good to us. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. We've not done without a meal. We've, we've got cars to drive, refrigerators full, and cabinets full, and warm houses to live in. We thank you for every blessing. Lord, now there might be one here that's not able to give, and we ask you to help them. We ask you to bless those that have to give and do. And Lord, we thank you for the, how you've blessed tonight all the singers that sung. God, we ask you for your anointing tonight. In Jesus' name, bless the offer, please. Amen. You want me to sing? You think it'll hurt them putting their fingers in their wallets while I sing? It won't hinder them, will it? Okay. Leah's being good, by the way. So far. The drunk on the street the rich in the palaces, the poor and unlearned, and men of degree, they all have a soul in need of salvation, and they all have to come by Calvary. I am so glad God saves old sinners. I'm thrilled and amazed how He sets them free. But the biggest surprise in redeeming old sinners is that He would say. A sinner like me Was I so bad That I needed forgiveness Was I so wrong I had to be redeemed Well I wasn't a thief Yet I lived in sin's prison So I was as lost As a sinner could be in 1983 That's why I am so glad God saves old sinners I'm thrilled and amazed How he sets them free but the biggest surprise in redeeming old sinners is that he would say a sinner like me sing with me would you oh i am so glad god saves old sinners I'm thrilled and amazed How He sets them free 
but the biggest surprise in redeeming old sinners is that he would say a sinner like me is that he would say a sinner like me Man, y'all did good. Give yourself a big hand. Did you sing? A little bit. Leah claims she can sing bass and tenor at the same time. Someone rolled the stone away Was it a thief? No It was an angel Mary says he lives again Do you believe? Yes He is my Savior Thomas was a doubter until he saw for himself Jesus even let him touch the spear hole in his side did he? he is risen, he is risen Yes my Lord, he is risen today there are linens with blood stains, but that's all that remains. There's nobody left in that grave. You know that comforts me. If a man can raise himself, one day when he hollers, come up hither, he'll be able to raise me. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Lord. Tear this temple down, he said, and in three days, ha, I will rebuild it. Jesus had to die before we all could be saved. That is how God willed it. I like this. Those who had him crucified thought he had seen his end. They did not know the cross would be his victory and mine. He is risen, he is risen. Yes, my Lord, he is risen today. There are linens with blood stains, but that's all that remains. There's nobody left in that grace. Let's sing again together. You want to? He's risen. He is risen. Yes, my Lord, He is risen today. It's good. There are linens with blood stains, but that's all that remains. There's nobody left in that grave. Yeah, there are linens with blood stains, but that's all that remains. There's nobody left in that grave. He is real. Amen. Y'all thinking, boy, he's working us hard and not asking us to sing all the time. Just help an old man out, would you? Did I tell you I was going to be 60 next month? Yeah. Remember when you get to be 60, ma'am, you want some help. There is a place somewhere below I've heard and read about And they say that people when they go 
can never come back out A place of torment for lost souls Who turn the Lord away They say the fire burns all night Because there is no day But I escaped that awful place When Jesus saved my soul And not one hair upon my head Will into that place go No, I don't have to worry Since the Savior took my part The only fire I'll ever feel Is burning in my heart I bet you know who wrote this, don't you, Jim Munson? I like this verse Eternal life was given me When I was born again And His precious blood has covered me And cleansed me from all sin He left a spark that satisfies My hungry soul's desire And that tiny flame that's burning now will keep me from the fire cause I escaped that awful place when Jesus saved my soul and not one hair upon my head will into that place go no I don't have to worry since the Savior took my part the only fire I'll ever feel is burning in my heart. The only fire I'll ever feel is burning in my heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, boy, we're getting to the songs with high notes in them. I about, I've got, I'm got so low down, I about hate them. Songs with high notes in them. I didn't used to be as low down as I am when I wrote some of these songs. But now I'm low down. Anybody else in here low down? Meaning you used to sing stuff in G and now you're singing them in three chords lower? That's, that means you're low down. Amen. I'm going to take a stab at singing this and in the same key I wrote it in. If I hit bad notes, we do it like this. And over in North Carolina, when somebody messes up, we say, bless him, Lord. Y'all need to practice one time, don't you? One, two, three, bless him, Lord. Now, that was real good, but you got to say it pitiful, you know, kind of like you mean it. So you, you put your eyebrows together, and you go, bless him, Lord. One, two, three, bless him, Lord. All right, let me get me a big old swig of water. Y'all got me on camera, don't you? This is water. The two best drinks God ever invented was milk and then water in that order. But if you drink milk when you're trying to sing, it don't go good. That's for cookies and popcorn. Milk, then water. I had no one to blame How I longed to hide my face I was so ashamed For all the wrongs I'd done And I knew I had to pay I was bound to face hell's flames I'd be there today my friends but for the blood but for the blood shed on calvary's tree his blood but for the blood there'd be no hope for you and me for all my righteousness his filthy rags and that's all I'd ever be But 
for the blood that cleansed and set me free. I was 19 years old when the Lord set me free. How old was you? How old was you? Even now I get so low. You know the devil lets me know I'm so undeserving. I'm unworthy of God's love. And oh yes, I know it's true but here i am with the chosen few i stand today let me tell you i'm saved just by the blood but for the blood shed on calvary's tree thank you lord but for the blood there'd be no hope for you and me for all my righteousness is filthy rags and that's all i'd ever be but for the blood that cleansed and set me free but for the blood that cleansed and set me free but for the blood that cleansed and set me free. Amen. You ought to be able to look back on a time when God did something for you and changed your life in a way that no man could ever do. If not, chances are you're not ready to meet the Lord. Abraham prayed for the day God would give him a son. Blessed Isaac was his name, the greatest gift he'd ever known. Then came the day. Who would have dreamed God would say Abraham give him to me on this mountain you will prove it's you and Isaac or it's me and you when I lay my Isaac down broken heart but my father's proud on this altar here he lays justified it wasn't him God wanted me most of us I'm glad to say have an Isaac in God's way On the altar God will prove It's not your Isaac that he wants He's wanting you When I lay my Isaac down Broken heart but my father's proud On the altar here he lays Justified it wasn't him He wanted me On the altar here he lays Justified it wasn't him God wanted me I'm so glad he wanted me, aren't you? Aren't you glad he wanted you? Praise the Lord. Just a minute. I'll sing it just for you in just a minute. 
She's a winner either way. Your daddy said I have to sing every song I know tonight. When the fire gets fiery hot And the real gets really real Sometimes, sister, I don't even need Whenever fear and dread comes knocking On my imagination's door My only prayer is what I tell myself God's gonna take good care of me He's where He said He'd be I don't even have to see God's gonna take good care of me When the Lord says something, He means it. Y'all believe that? He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, even to the end of the age. I don't even have to look over here, even if I could. He's there for me, said He. In the fiercest battle's fault, there are no clanging swords. In secret places, where the voices come When in your mind Satan whispers He wants to make us flee Come now brother, come join in with me A singing God's gonna take good care of me He's where he said he'd be I don't even have to see God's gonna take good care of me David the great writer of the song said it like this He said I've been young and now I'm old Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Praise the Lord. He's going to take good care of us, Brother Jim. He reached the end of life's journey But he'd been holding to God's hand A long, long time And as I knelt beside his bed My heart was thrilled at what he said If I go or if I stay the victory is mine I'm a winner either way If I go or if I stay For I still have my Jesus Each passing day I'll have my healing here below Or life forever If I go Oh, praise the Lord, I'm a winner either way. Sinner, listen. None of us really know about tomorrow. We must prepare to go to heaven any day. But while we're here, we can trust the Lord He'll lead us safe to our reward And by His grace, we'll be a winner either way 
Hey, I'm a winner either way If I go or if I stay For I'll still have my Jesus each passing day I'll have my healing here below Or life forever if I go Oh, praise the Lord, I'm a winner either way. One more time, sing with me. I'm a winner either way, if I go or if I stay. For I still have my Jesus each passing day. I'll have my healing here below. Or life forever If I go Oh praise the Lord I'm a winner Either way Oh praise the Lord I'm a winner Either way Amen Thank you Lord I'm going to sing one more song, and I'm going to be done. <clears throat> Been a lot of talk tonight about a little song that God gave me, and I want to tell you how it sort of came about. We was in the studio trying to cut a song at Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. Everybody heard Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver? With a group called Common Ground. I don't know if you all remember Common Ground or not. But we was in the studio, and there was a lady that was with us, and she was renowned for going flat on notes, you know. You ever seen one like that? And we were singing Doyle Lawson's old song, Sea of Life. We called it Sailing because we didn't know the real name of it. And in that song, she had to hold this long note while we sung repeats behind her. And nine times in a row in a studio, she went flat. And we was getting all flustered. And that engineer said, I know why she can't hit that note. And we said, why? And he said, because y'all never stopped and prayed before you started. And we said, you know what? You're right. So we bowed our little heads and we prayed. And she went in there, and the very next time she got it and didn't go flat one time. And that engineer said, see, it's just amazing what a prayer can do. And all of a sudden, that feeling come on me that I recognize now. I call it the anointing. Without it, I end up with balls of paper all over the floor. But I went in there with a pad and a pen and the Lord gave me the old scripture where Hezekiah got that letter from King Sennacherib of Assyria. And that's how I got my first verse. And the second verse came from an old pastor I once had that was old enough like Jim Muncy to remember when doctors made house calls. And he told us, he said, I remember. I was just a little kid. I got some kind of a fever. And he said, I could hear everything was going on, but I couldn't respond. And he said, the doctor came and as he got ready to leave, he told my mama, he said, ma'am, I'm sorry to tell you I've done all I can do. Unless God moves, you need to call the family in because that child won't be here in the morning. And he said, I heard her click the door behind the doctor, and, and she turned to whoever was in there and said, he don't know everything. Let's pray. And he said, the room filled up with the sound of prayer. And the next morning, he was eating them out of house and home. And last time I saw him, he wasn't eating chickens. He was throwing them down his throat. It's amazing what a prayer can do. This will be my last song. Pray hard for it. There was a king. He got a letter from a mighty army without number. He spread it out there for the Lord to get a view. God said a promise and just one angel. That devil's army met his doom. Why, it's just amazing what a prayer. Can do. It's moved mountains, 
parted rivers brought the dead to life again I've called upon an old prayer warrior a time or two if you're in trouble I'll go down on my bended knees for you cause it's just amazing what a prayer can do I see a mama and a baby he's fought for life the whole night through seemed hope was gone oh how the tears fell not just a few but there's old grandpa over in the corner he knew the one who'd pull him through and that baby's still alive to show what prayer can do why it's moved mountains parted rivers brought the dead to life again i've called upon an old prayer warrior a time or two if you're in trouble i'll go down on my bended knees for you cause it's just amazing what a prayer can do It's just amazing What a prayer can do God bless you. Thank you for letting me sing. Okay, if you like those songs he's been singing, buy some CDs from him. Okay, let me move out of the way now. Come on, Jim. Jim's got an announcement to make. This is Jim Muncie. And if you don't know who Jim Muncie is, let me educate you who he is. You heard of Harmony Valley with the Prim de Quartet and all that? This is the dude right here. Come on, Jim Muncie. Oh, Lord. God bless. It's good to be here tonight. I'll tell you that right now. I've had me a hallelujah time. The Lord is my shepherd. You know something, Troy? Every one of us needs a shepherd. And he leadeth me beside still water. And he restores my soul. Lord have mercy. I've been putting on a singing in Jackson County for 49 years. 49 years, and we want to have one more. One more. And let me tell you who's going to be there so you know. Part of the primitive quartet is going to be there. Reagan, Reagan, and old Brandon that sounds just like Norman. 
And the guy that's a singing with Reagan, it sounds like Norman Wilson. I'll tell you that right now. And you'll enjoy that. Primitive Road, yeah. Primitive, yeah. They'd, well, anyway, they'll be there. And uh, there'll be a lot more people, the Smith sisters. Uh, i tell you another guy that you you might know is Jeff Parker. You know Jeff Parker? Well, there's a lot of people know him. But anyway, that will be July the 26th and 27th. On Friday and Saturday night. So if you got to come back here on Saturday night, you can come down there on Friday night. <laughs> on Friday night. Well, Troy, I love you, son. Here. Let's hear it for Jill Munson. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Got a lot of history with the Primitive Quartet and uh, hosting these singings and emceeing and all this good stuff. So we appreciate Jill Munson. All right, uh, bringing her, bring the messengers back up. Well, we're going to let the messengers sing you a few songs and give you a chance to hear them uh, once again. To, I think they're only singing, what, two or three? And they'll give you a chance to go over and visit Mike and buy some CDs and stuff. But come on, come on, the messengers, come on, sing for us. Hey, hey, what? This is one of our most requested songs right here. I love it. I love this song. Mm -hmm. First time I heard it, it talks about me. And uh, I like them songs that talks to us, don't you? It tells a story. This song right here says he can love what's left of me. I gave the world the best of my day, let people down so many ways. Reckless emotion led me astray till I could not see. I lost all direction, no hope inside. Weary of living, gave up on life, searching for answers. I wondered why would God even help me? Oh, but listen. Then he reached out his tender hand of mercy.
true stuff. Whew. Go the same thing today. You ever wondered how you got this far? Sometimes do you wonder how you made it this far? That's God. And when you realized it wasn't bad as it seemed, that was God. When you were
Enjoyed that today. Good job. The Masters and Mike up, uh, upright, they done a great job, didn't they? Just go over and visit their booth and tell them how much you enjoyed their music tonight. Everybody stand, we'll be dismissed. We will. Thank you, Lord, for another great singing we've had here at the Gospel Barn, Lord. We thank you for the ones that have come to be with us tonight. Thank just Lord, just bless the sick, those in affliction. Lord, uh, save the lost, lead us home, and guide us back at the point in time. We will not forget to praise you in the precious name of Jesus, we ask. Amen.